Well, it is another One Piece chapter, 1056, titled The Cross Guild. And this was a good chapter. I mean, it broke my heart to know that we're not going to have Carrot join the Straw Hats, as she's now the ruler of Zoe. And Oda even kind of pointed out that it doesn't entirely make sense, but uh, we're just going to have to deal with it, which is fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. We'll probably see them again soon, since man, the story's nearby. But overall, I'm still looking forward to Yamato presumably joining the crew as the end of the chapter hinted. Although the magazine might be on break next week for the holidays in Japan. I mean, two weeks from now we'll find out that answer based off of the end of this one. But nonetheless, I'm kind of looking forward to it. The meat and potatoes of this chapter is, of course, as the namesake, the Cross Guild. But before we get into that, I want to kind of touch upon two things, which would be... I'll start with the cover story, which is, you know, something I honestly forgot was even going on because we've just had a bunch of double-aged spreads and stuff like that. And actually, we did have the whole Uta thing, but frankly, since I'm probably not going to be seeing the movie till it comes in the U.S., I honestly didn't pay much attention to it, sadly. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think it was included in the official release. I think it was only included in the scans. Weird. But nonetheless, I'm not looking too deep into it. Uh, but the actual cover story, Katakuri is up. I'm not sure if he's at full force, because if he is, the Germans, the Germans have to. There's, there's no way they can beat Katakuri at 100% with Oven by his side, because they couldn't beat Katakuri at 100% back in Whole Cake. And I'm not sure if they got much stronger, at the very least, you know, two of them didn't get any stronger. They were trapped the whole time. So, yeah, I don't see that going too well. Unless he's just moving with still, you know, injuries in general. I mean, he did stab himself, so... He, he could be nerfed, maybe. And then there's a whole idea of when does this take place? Does it take place before Big Mom falls, after? We'll probably find that out towards the end or maybe at the end of the cover story. But that's kind of where that's at. And then we have Shinobu, who is younger, because she just, she got all the body fat sucked out of her by uh, Armaki. And I checked the previous chapter. There was no actual panel of her getting penetrated, but uh, she did off-panel, so. Neat? No, it hurt, but uh, the results aren't bad. Sanji can agree. And... Uh, Kin, I did, Kinemon, I didn't even know he wasn't there. I didn't realize it. I'm not sure if his fire would have been more useful than Rizos or less useful than Momonosuke's case, but we'll never know unless they fight against Aramaki as like a rematch in the final war. Maybe they will, actually. That's actually kind of neat. Neat idea. But the main crux of the story, the sake of the title, Cross Guild. Everyone was thinking, oh yeah, Mihawk and maybe Bo are totally going to join Buggy as an emperor under his crew and replace Bo with Sir Crocodile, which, in fact, all of them are currently, you know, former warlords, so it makes sense to put him in that same keel. So, great. That's great to see him. And he got to see Buggy's charisma firsthand and impel down. So he knows the advantages of it, and I can see him making the conscious decision to make use of that, especially now that it's at Emperor status. Maybe seeing that and seeing how far it's gone now, and seeing how at least one of his men has joined him already, it might be a good idea to join him. And I wonder, I wonder if he has a higher position in Buggy's crew than Mr. Three. Like, who are the actual Yonko commanders for Buggy, huh? I'm assuming Meowth has got to be one of them. Maybe, maybe Maybe Crocodile's on the same level as Mr. Three in terms of importance of the crew. Maybe. I mean, at the same time, obviously, when it comes to the public, the biggest name would be Crocodile. Then again, maybe if the public found out that Mr. Three was the one who momentarily freed Ace, maybe that could do something. Who knows? But one of the main things I haven't seen anyone talk about yet... I mean, someone talked about one aspect of the Cross Guild being the bounties maybe they'd be closer to like Doflamingo's thing from Dress Rosa, but if they're not and they're closer to say what the world government has for pirates, 
does that mean we might see, like when we reintroduce to each of these marines, we might see the cross skill bounties, similar to how we see for pirates? That might be pretty cool. And even though in world it wouldn't make the sense because there wouldn't be the same factors, in terms of Oda just putting it for us to understand, maybe he might give bounties to kind of allow us to see the equivalence of the marines to the pirates so maybe when we see the admiral's bounties maybe they'll be somewhere close to the yonkos maybe slightly above slightly below power scalers will get a whole bunch of jib and jab out of that even though it's not power scaling per se it'll still be nice to see where they lie so i can't wait to see that and there's the whole the final thing that I want to touch upon, but not really delve into, is the man with the burn scar. Personally, I'm not going to get into it. Like, at all. There's, It's not something I personally want to try and theorize over. Many people who are better than me have probably already done so. And since we're maybe, according to Oda, three years away from the end of the story, I, I give or take maybe a little bit more, we'll find the answer soon. Blink and it'll be in front of us. I don't know. I'm patient. Oh, and I didn't mention this during my first take. Yeah, this is actually a second take. I didn't turn the mic on the first time. I didn't mention this before or in my first take, but what's that I mentioned? Pluton. Luffy just doesn't care, and he doesn't want anything to do with it, and Caribou overhears again about an ancient weapon. I wonder if he'll be around when we finally find out about Uranus, and that special someone, I'm assuming, is Blackbeard. There's no one else nefarious to tell these things to. And a lot of people say, oh, maybe that means Caribou was the spy for Blackbeard all along. I'm half with that because there was technically no time for him to come in contact with anyone from Blackbeard. So another theory is that the actual spy might have been an Udon and then recruited uh, Caribou. Of course, if Oda decides not to go that deep into it, he might as well just say Caribou has been the spy all along, and just at some point during the timeline, he got involved with one of them. We basically know what Caribou did, so not sure when he would have became that. Or maybe he was recruited by Blackbeard before even before even Sabandi, before the time skip actually started. So who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Or if it's Blackbeard at all, I'm assuming it is. There's no one else it could be unless it's a brand new character. But that's all I have to really say. I'm sorry for not being around as much for those who've actually watched me this whole time. It's been a long time in terms of just regular work and stuff. But I'm back, and I'll be trying to make more videos on a consistent basis. Now, I'm Ben Smalls. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, stay safe.